Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? Um, so, I'm on a job right now, quote unquote. Uh, not really a job, it's a, uh, a caretaking, if you will. Um, I'm a caretaker in a lot of different areas. Um, part of being an evangelist and part of talking to, uh, meeting new people is, is you're willing to work and they're willing to put you to, to do, put your hands to something. Um, so I've got to be careful with what I say and how I say it because, you know, there's always other people watching and trying to manipulate things and trying to deceive. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to watch what I say. But anyway, I say that to go back to, um, so yeah, I wanted to give you guys an update this morning or this afternoon, I guess I should say about 1 30 this afternoon, um, in, in recording, a uh, client of mine, uh, a customer, um, a patron, a guest, um, a disciple, if you will, um, uh, is, you know, they're ha asking me to mow their yard and, uh, I wanted to show you some of the things that God <coughs> wants to put his people in authority over, um, when they find their place and when they, uh, figure out who really is God, you know, again, I can't stress it enough. You're not God. You are, can be part of that part of him but you're not him and uh we have to stay humble and we have to stay submitted and we have to know how to submit to leadership too um especially when we're called to a specific church or a specific congregation we need to know how to listen to our leadership and know that um uh they're there for a reason they're there to guide us and to instruct us in the ways of the lord and along with the scriptures and along with listening to the spirit and the word ourselves you know the spirit of god ourselves um but anyway so yeah i wanted to show you kind of some of the things that i deal with see that house in the background there um my wife and i help these people um take care of these how this house and um uh, it's technically an Airbnb, but we take care of the house. I do a lot of um, uh, donated work in the house. Um, and, uh, and in return, they donate back to me. Um, it's a give and take relationship with us. And it's been a blessing. It's been a, it's been a huge blessing. Um, they, they tell me all the time. I'm not sitting here trying to boast or nothing. But they tell me all the time what a blessing I've been in their lives. Um, but I also want to admit and, and say openly that, look, man, they're a huge blessing in, in my wife and I's lives. Um, the fact of the matter is my wife and I would probably be screwed up shit's Creek, pardon my French, but, um, the, uh, the, some of the attacks that I've gone through from, from certain people in the world today that, uh, really hate me living for the Lord and, and trying to do what's right. Um, you know, these people have, have been good. They've been, they've been really, really good to me <laughs> and my wife. And they, they actually care. They, they really, really care. And I know that, um, it's an anointing from the Lord that they've been able to, that we've been able to meet each other. And because they've been able to be blessed from me and I've been able to be blessed from them. And, um, and uh, like I said, it's just it's a mutual relationship that we have as people of God, as children of God, and um, and I'm very thankful. You know, they're they're um, they're technically a quote unquote different religion than I am. Um, I don't like to say that I'm of any kind of religion. I, I'm I'm a believer in the Word. I'm a believer in God, and I believe that His Spirit can be a part of our lives today. Um, but when you get into that denominational stuff it's it's just it's ridiculous but anyway i say all that to go back to you know so i just wanted to kind of testify um look the, the words of our testimony are so supposed to help others overcome and that's that's part of being an evangelist is to to help show people look even though you're going through hell even though you're going through crap god is always there for you he will never leave you nor forsake you 
and he will he will divinely intervene in your life so that you can meet the exact people that you need to meet and that you'll be able to you'll be an overcomer of the world you know the world that's different than the church you know the church is the body of christ and and you know the bible says go into the world but be not of it you know us as believers we're supposed to be we're supposed to be the body of christ and overcomers of the world and that and we go in as sheeps unto wolves you know that the, the wolves are in the world we're supposed to be sheeps we're supposed to be sheeps led by the shepherd and when we are this is this is the blessings that the lord wants to do in our lives now do i go through stuff again i can't tell you enough i go through it man i really really do but by the anointing of the holy spirit and by the lord's blessings upon my life this is a testimony you know and a lot of people they just you know they think stuff like this oh well you know it's not a test man look listen if you're at walmart and you're getting you're getting blessed at walmart as a believer then you need to say that's a blessing from the father now you got to be careful you know watch it because if you're at walmart and you're screwing everybody over and you're you're totally trying to do everything you can to to um, screw the little guy and so forth and so on. Okay, well, you know, maybe, you're, maybe your father's of the devil or is the devil. But I say that to go back to um, if you're a true believer and you know who I'm talking about. You're a chosen one and, and you're, you're, your footsteps are in a line with Christ. Then, then when you receive the blessing, thank God for that blessing. Um because I tell you what, he wants us to have a testimony. He wants us to give him praise. He wants us to give him glory for the things he does in our lives. And that's what I'm doing today is I wanted to say thank the Lord. And I also wanted to show you guys, you know, listen, when life gets rough, look for the blessings. Stop looking for the crap. Look for God. Because I'm telling you, when you seek his kingdom first, Everything else will be taken care of. Everything else will be dealt with. But we have to seek Him. We seek His face. And when we seek His face, He will open the windows of heaven and pour out so much blessings into our lives that we can't contain it all. Sometimes it'll be almost burdensome, but, but we have to be thankful for that. Because I tell you what, man, it's like Apostle Paul says, I'm, I'm not exactly sure where it might be James. Um, maybe James said it, but... You know, God wants, God wants his people to be so blessed that the world is jealous because when the world is jealous of the chosen ones of God, then, and they do attack us and they do come after us, it's a testimony that we have something they don't. We have the blessings of the Father. We have the, the anointing and, and, and they're jealous of that, you know. There's, um, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Uh, the way the King James says it, my bishop's uh, uh, amazing the way he, he pulled this out. The King James Version says, the devil comes not but for two. You know, it's it's just the way they talked back then. But, but for two, to steal, kill, and destroy. Immediately, he doesn't wait around. He immediately wants to come and steal. Well, if he's trying to come and steal, that means you have something to be stolen. If he's trying to come and destroy, that means he has something that he wants to destroy in your life. Don't let him destroy it. Don't let him steal from you. If you have if you have a sound mind, keep your sound mind. Stay in faith. Stay strong in the Lord. If you have health in your body, keep your health. Keep keep the anointing of the Lord in your body. Now, I'm not saying to go out and take a whole bunch of drugs to keep your health. Stay strong in the faith. Stay, make your actions in alignment with what the Word says. The Bible says that Jesus took 39 stripes on his back for your healing. Meaning, meaning, you don't have to go out there and take prescription drugs and all this other kind of crap to be healed. It means that he already did it for you. So you can be an overcomer in what he said. You know, there's a, there's a, I don't even know where it's at, but there's a, a verse that's been really, really going through me a lot um, over the last few years. 
and um, and I really firmly believe it's the Lord, and that is that even though He slay me, I will serve the Lord. It's it's if if the Lord it's I, I think it's Job that said it, um, but even if it, even if the enemy get so much control in my life that I should die. I'm still going to serve the Lord. I'm not going to I'm not going to let my wife and my kids turning against me or or um anyone turning against me to 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 get me in a mindset or or in a way of thinking or or doing things against the Father. He is my Father, the Yahovah, the one that is, was and always will be and is to come, you know. I'm going to serve him until death. And, um, and I went through it, man. I, I went through a divorce. Um, I've just a uh, quick little touch on that. You know, I went through a divorce because I wanted to serve the Lord and she didn't. And, um, I lost my kids over it. Um, I mean, now mind you, I'm getting my kids back and I thank God for that. But, but we have to stay strong in what the Lord says. And if we if we walk the day to day knowing that we are healed, knowing that Jesus paid the price, you know, Jesus Jesus shed blood, blood seven different ways. He, the crown of his head, the soles of his feet, his hands, his back. He was bruised for our iniquity. He was beaten and bruised for our iniquity. I mean, um that is our testimony that we should stand in. That is our that is the word of the Lord that we should stand in. Now, does that mean we should just let people destroy us? No, the Bible says when the devil's stealing from you, let him steal no more. If he's trying to steal your peace, tell him to screw off. If he's trying to take your health, tell him to screw off. We have the power through the blood of the lamb. What does the blood of the lamb mean? What does the power of the blood of the lamb mean? Remember what Christ did. You know, I love the movie Passion of the Christ for all those people that love that movie. Um, supposedly, they're coming out with another one. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to that. But, you know, I use that as a visual memory. Jesus, what? I'm sorry, I get a little emotional. Jesus went through that so that I can live unto godliness and unto righteousness. That's the testimony. No, it doesn't matter what you're going through in the world. When you can do good for goodness sake, when you can live righteous for righteous sake, God will give you and grant you a testimony. God is your deliverer. Anyway, this video is kind of getting uh, about 13 minutes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here for now. Listen, there's more to come. Don't give up. I don't know who this is for. I don't know who needs to hear this, but don't give up. You will be an overcomer. And I tell you right now, by the blood of the Lamb, you'll be able to find out who God truly is. By the blood of the Lamb, you'll be able to find out who your deliverer really is. It's not you. Do you have to live the day day to day? Do you have to live in the now, the uh, this evil wretched world that we live in yeah but but god will deliver you he will deliver you from your enemies um psalms you know i, I read a lot of psalms and 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 david his prayers and his songs it's all about deliver me from my enemies lord cleanse my mind i want to repent from some of so much of the foolishness that i did king david man he was he had some issues you know I, I think we all do. But um, but anyway, I love you guys. Listen, the testimony is that you can be a caretaker. You can be... you If you're God's disciple, He'll put you above and He'll He'll give you disciples to, to, to look out for, to train up in the ways of the Lord and to, to reach out. And they'll, they'll be a blessing to you just as much as... You'll be a blessing to them. Jesus needed his 12 disciples because he couldn't preach the gospel without. <coughs> Sorry about that. He couldn't preach the gospel without having more people. I mean, the fact of the matter is we need laborers in the harvest field. And 
and you're called for such a time as this. So hear this word, love God, love the brethren, and, and, and go into all the world and preach the gospel. Go get your testimony. I love you. This is Andrew. I'll see you in, I'll see you in a later video.